What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel today. I'm so excited about this video. I am super hyped guys. I really am hyped with a capital H. Yes mates. Yes dickheads. I've, I've been waiting for this. As soon as this was announced I had to pre-order immediately and I opted for the Arrow store exclusive because I feel like the artwork is way superior to the standard box set i'm talking about the bruce lee 4k box set from arrow video the bruce lee at golden harvest is his official name and all i've got to do is hold this up and it just looks glorious it looks immense uh the yellow there with the amazing illustrations of bruce lee you go around it you've got an amazing like spine bit there as a child i was a huge bruce lee fan i trained in martial arts as a kid because of bruce lee i got into too many fights as a kid because bruce lee Shh, bruce lee he was you know an idol to me as a child growing up watching his films seeing how amazing he watched watching his real life you know actual things he did like the one inch punch uh, showcase and stuff like that he was a man that was almost invincible to me he was the closest thing to me to a superhero he he, he seemed he had superpowers in my eyes as a child so to have this box in my hands is unreal um i wasn't sure if i felt like the price was worth the admission uh whether it was worth the price I, I wasn't sure if it was worth the price of admission um because i don't think these come in their individual amaray cases which i'm a bit upset about but it does come with a massive book that's why this weighs a ton as well by the way it weighs a lot we're gonna have a break this open and unbox this beautiful set from arrow video but not only that guys not only that i'm going to be comparing this 4k set with other bruce lee sets that have come out so i'm going to compare it to the standard master collection that came out in the uk just uh, not not by transfers just by you know overall like the product itself so we can have a look at the bruce lee master collection and also we're going to have a look at the uh bruce lee his greatest hits um criterion collection set uh which i think looks absolutely gorgeous as well uh but yeah we're going to break down all these sets have a look at them and then we're going to see how this arrow video set compares let's get to the video let's do it so we have these three editions all lined up here we're going to begin with the standard version uh it's as standard as you get really the master collection bruce lee uk blu-ray set you get big boss you get you get the big boss fist of fury the way of the dragon game of death and enter the dragon i always found it weird they include game of death where it's where it's not a complete movie I found it very strange uh, and I don't know how I feel about this version because Golden Harvest kind of went their own way and made their own film. So as you can see, you've got all the uh, films there. Spy on that one. So we've got Game of Death with the iconic yellow and black jumpsuit, uh, which made is probably the most iconic look for Bruce Lee, even though the film kind of was unfinished. Uh, I reckon it would have been just masterful if he was alive, if he survived to uh to finish the film it would have been uh, a very good movie i think it would be better than what uh what frankenstein uh you know the frankenstein's monster that golden hard at harvest put together but i digress but that is the blu-ray for game of death you've got the blu-ray for enter the dragon i'm guessing these blu-rays are all you can get individually i think as well um but they are pretty much standard fare uh this one's got quite a lot of special features on I do have the uh, the anniversary 4K that's coming out, 15th anniversary. Where the Dragon, uh, again, has tons of special features. Like these Blu-rays, I say bare bones, they got tons of shit on them. And I think they're, it's probably a worthwhile, cheap uh, box set to get if you just want the films on Blu-ray. I think this is a pretty decent box set to start with. They, it served me well over the years anyway. Fist of Pro probably my... If you just give a go with strictly the, you know, Hong Kong... Uh, Bruce Lee films. I think this is probably my favourite out of the gold Golden Hard Harvest uh, films. Big Boss. I remember growing up and really not liking this one. Thought it was a bit rubbish. So on a rewatch, it might surprise me. 
So that is the Bruce Lee Master Collection. Um, moving over to the Criterion set. If you want something a bit more premium with a bit more going on, uh, this set is pretty damn good. Uh, artwork is fantastic. I love it. I think it looks great. Uh, Criterion always puts out really nice stuff. Really nice spine as well. This one's more of a, a digipack affair. We've got a cool, like a, almost like a magazine, but it's almost like a poster as well. Bruce Lee from Big Boss there. I'm not going to fold that open because I can't be bothered. Big Boss, Fist of Fury, End of the Dragon, Way of the Dragon, Game of Death, Supplements, and uh, yeah, two two discs of uh, supplements, the special features there. Pretty much identical to the um, Master Collection in terms of what you get here. Um, I'm not sure if the special features differ from this, um, but it's pretty much going to be uh, the Master Collection that we just looked at. But I'm, I've got a feeling these are new scans. Are they new scans? Let's have a look. Um, 4K digital restorations of the Big Boss, Fist of Fury, Way of the Dragon, and Game of Death. And a new 2K digital restoration of the rarely seen 99-minute 1973 theatrical version of End of the Dragon. Uh, so yeah, they're all new scans, which is cool. This one's getting a bit more high up in price, in my opinion. I paid about 55 for it. But I've seen it go for a lot more, in, you know, as high as the 90s uh, in the kind of terms of price. So um, it's definitely, a, I recommend this one to get. I think it's a very well presented set. Um, the artwork throughout the whole set on this one is beautiful. So I do recommend this one to a point. Uh, uh, I just wish it wasn't Digipack. I'm not a fan of Digipacks. So I wish it had, if it was, had all the, uh, like the Blu-ray, like the Master Collection, if it had... If it had the Blu-rays like this, in this, but it was the Criterion Blu-rays, I think it would have been a bit nicer, in my opinion. But that is the Bruce Lee, His Greatest Hits Criterion box set. The brand new Arrow Bruce Lee at Golden Harvest. Um, I, I, I've been so excited for this set. Um, I don't think I've pre-ordered the set as quickly as this one. Uh, immediately uh, pre-ordered it. But you will, the interesting thing about this set is does the hundred and pound, hundred and twenty pound price tag, is it worth it? So it's a heavy set, guys. It is a beefy set. It's one of those uh, sets that raise upwards by the looks of it. Does this J card come off? All right, let's lift this up. Oh, okay. This is this is new. This is see. I try to avoid a lot of the um, pre-release stuff for this promotion stuff because i didn't know what to expect so uh arrow are getting very um into this lift up uh these boxes with the lift with the lids that come off the top so as you can see this is packed holy shit this is absolutely stacked with stuff guys i am really really excited to get into this the big boss fist of fury way of the dragon enter the dragon game of death game of death 2 which is interesting because he's Basically not in that one, so it's a bit strange. And the man, the myth, the man, the le the man, the legend, the legend. Wait, is that a misprint? I think that might be a misprint right there, guys. The man, isn't it meant to be the man, the le the myth, the legend? Might be a misprint on that part right there, guys. We we can find. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, it could be a misprint. We can see. Um, We'll see as we go through. So first up is Big Boss. Beautiful artwork on the on on first on first glance here, guys. On first take, beautiful artwork. 4K disc there for um, Big Boss. I love that they they've included the, the the Hong Kong poster. That's awesome to see that actually. Um, really cool, Big Boss. Moving over to the Mandarin cut. Of the big boss this is where things get interesting to me because i don't think i've seen this version i've only ever seen the really old kind of uh, uh vhs versions of it and obviously the blu-ray that came out with the uh, master collection and obviously the um hong kong legend dvd releases that came out of these films we've got the big boss mandarin cut with another alternate poster there really nice not really a bad a fan of these kind of like digi pack cases but for this i'm i'm liking the design so far as i said earlier probably my favorite in his hong kong lineup fist of fury 
again the 4k disc right there and you've got the i'm presuming it's the original hong kong poster for fist of fury moving on to some would argue his best film especially when it regards his golden harvest days uh, the way of the dragon i didn't realize he directed this until a lot later in my life so you know if this is an example of what he could do when he directs, could you imagine what Game of Death would have been like if he was able to finish that film? Would have been just unreal. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, Where the Dragon. Oh, my God. Uh, arguably one of the greatest martial arts films of all time, Enter the Dragon, and this nice digipack comes with the original poster artwork. Incredible. Incredible artwork right there, guys. I love it. And this is the Blu-ray of Enter the Dragon. Uh, and I'm guessing this is like the international kind of Asian artwork for it. Let's enter the dragon. And we've got Game of Death, classic pose with the yellow and black jumpsuit. Game of Death is on 4K. It's interesting that we didn't get the 4K for uh, Into the Dragon. We only got the Blu-ray there, but we do have a 50th anniversary 4K coming out soon, so that might be why. Uh, Game of Death, 4K with the original poster there again um i'm not sure how i feel about this version because it's a golden harvest production they kind of piece together the the, the the shots that he filmed and he he done so it's a bit of a hodgepodge of things moving on we have game of death we have the alternate versions now this is going to be interesting to delve into this because if you're a bruce lee purist you know about the different versions that came out of Game of Death and how there's a few different kind of versions of it. Um, I would like to see the film just as just the shots that he that he done and that's it. You know, regardless of narrative, I just like to see what he produced uh, as as a director and as the star of the film, rather than Golden Harvest coming into it and just chopping up whatever they wanted and and made a film out of it. I just feel like it was a bit of a <clears throat> bit of in poor taste after his death in my opinion bit of a cash grab there game uh, the final game of death i wonder what this is um uh when uh, bruce died in 1973 he had been working on one one more film which he wrote and directed as well as starred in the game of death only a third of the project was filmed before lee's death and much of the footage set in gold golden harvest vaults for years uh, until being rediscovered along with Lee's original script notes in the late 1990s. Now for the very first time, our video is still to present all two hours of Lee's original footage, including the long-presumed lost log fight between Dan Ino Santo and, and Chien Yun, with a new narration explaining Lee's original concept in detail, as well as the project's fascinating origin, origins and tragic ending. See? This is exactly what I want. I want something like this, where it's like lost stuff that we never saw. This is awesome. The final game of death. That's an awesome addition to the set. This is worth it. Oh, well, well that wasn't secure very well, was it? All this stuff happens in these unboxes that I cannot fucking predict. Typical, huh? Typical. Anyway, uh, game of death 2. I've never been a fan of this one. I've never understood why it exists. And uh, I don't understand why they included it in this because this doesn't really have him in it. I'm trying to read what uh, this uses more rare footage found in the studio vaults. The result may be the wildest, weirdest, and most flat out entertaining example of the Bruce Plotation genre that thrived in the years since Lee's death. Yeah, so you've said in the back this, this exploits his death. To make money. So why is this included? Like I never understood why this was a thing. And it still annoys me today. Um, yeah. Uh, why is this in the set? This this could have been omitted in my opinion. He's not in it. Yeah. I, I, it makes me angry man. It makes me angry guys. Um, okay. Uh, so. Alright. Okay. So this, this wasn't a mistake. It's called The Man and the Legend. Slash The Legend. So it's, 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 I guess it's. Two documentaries on this in Blu-ray. Uh, for the first time, both of Golden Harvest's official documentaries of, of their most favourite screen icon are together on Blu-ray. Okay, so it's not it wasn't called Bruce Lee, the man, the legend, the legend. It was Bruce Lee and the legend 
slash the legend. So let's do two documentaries. Okay. That 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 brushes that up for me. Oh holy fucking shit. Sorry, I'm swearing, but I swear like a trooper anyway. This book, guys. Wow. That is a beefy tome right there. That artwork is beautiful. That photo is beautiful, Bruce, right there. I love that. Absolutely adore that. That's beautiful. This book might be worth price of admission. Not that I'm saying you should you should pay uh, 120 quid for a book, but wow, this is a beautiful tome right here. I'm looking forward to reading this because I, like I said, this man was just an epitome of everything to me when I was a kid. He made he made me want to get into martial arts. He made me want to, you know, be in shape. Sort of as a kid, you can't really get in shape too much because you're a little kid. You want sweets and stuff. But you get my gist. He was a very very much a, 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 a um, he was very much a incomparable kind of person to to look up to. He was you know you couldn't compare him to nobody. He he was one of a kind. And yeah, this book is going to be cool to get into some insights. But wow, this book is absolutely beautiful. It might be the reason to get this if you want more insights if you like reading and want more insights this uh poster uh so we've got where the dragon i don't know if folding these out on camera but that's kick ass though that is awesome i love that and there's a reverse poster as well so we've got another poster on the back big boss i much prefer the the way the dragon poster come on guys where the dragon it's the best um I've got some heart prints, man. Looking forward to those. Uh, what is in this? So, Bruce Lee is dynamite. I hate I hate opening these because I always damage the uh, cardboard. So you can't, uh, my, guys. This comes with a smorgasbord of uh, art cards. That's awesome. Love this. But uh, I'm guessing these are like behind the scenes stuff or just photos from the films. These are like big boss ones with awesome. I love that artwork on the. I love that. It looks a bit weird in the face, but you know, whatever. They're cool though. I'm liking this a lot, guys. This box set is amazing. This might be Arrow's best set they've ever done. Really classic artwork for Where the Dragon there. Um, I remember seeing the nunchuck scene in Where the Dragon and uh, and Enter the Dragon for the first time and being blown away because all the all the releases growing up as a kid had them cut out. Because in the UK, nunchucks were kind of taboo for some reason. And you couldn't work, you couldn't use the word ninja. So nunchucks and ninja were banned for some reason. So seeing him with nunchucks for the first time as like a young teenager was mind-boggling to me. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through all those because it's gonna take me forever and ever and ever. Right, there we go. That is the um photo cards. Really cool addition, in my opinion. And these are what do we have? Is this the final thing? The final thing. These are actual photos, um, more photos, I guess, more things to show. They're not in there. They're in this weird kind of envelope thing. I don't want to get them stuck on that, though. Yeah, right, these are proper photos. Young Bruce Lee, very young. What film is this from? Is that... Is that when he plays Kato, maybe? Or is it Fist of Fury? It could be Fist of Fury. I'm not sure, but he looks awesome. These are really nice glossy photos, by the way, guys. Really cool. That might be when he's in Green Hornet. Because I don't remember him wearing that right outfit. Actually, it might be Fist of Fury. It doesn't say on the back, but I think it is Fist of Fury, if I remember correctly. With the nunchucks. Yeah, I think these are from Fist of Fury. Which happens to be my favourite film. Uh, one of them. I think End of the Dragon is the best, but I think when it comes to his, like I said, like his Hong Kong films, I think... Fist of Fury is probably my favourite. He kicks all kinds of ass in Fist of Fury. And that is the brand new Bruce Lee at Golden Harvest 4K box set. It's quite perfect in my opinion. Like I said, I've got a bit of a stickler when it concerns having a Game of Death 2 in here. But I guess the purists think it's a part of that. Maybe it's a thing. But I feel like this this couldn't be more perfect if, if, if I thought about it, to be honest. Um, we've got that 50th anniversary of End of the Dragon coming out, which I can't wait for. Uh, I've got the limited set for that coming coming as well. Here's the J card stuck on. Oh, there we go. I just want to see the back artwork, if there is back artwork. And there is. There, let's do the reveal. Let's do the reveal, guys. Back artwork, reveal. Let's do the back artwork, reveal. Get this on first. Right, the back artwork. 
Boom. Oh, yes. It's fucking fitting, man. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. This set couldn't get any better for me. Is it the best set that Arrow has put out? It might be. I swear, every time we as collectors think Arrow are getting a bit stale and putting out kind of like more bigger, bigger movies and kind of like rehashing their stuff, they bring out something like the Arrow video set or the or this, and they're just like they're back on form, guys. They need to keep this up because they've put out two incredible box sets in the span of a month: the Video Store box set and now the Bruce Lee at Golden Harvest box set. This is incredible. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. And I will see you next time, I suppose. Bye.